What's up, Red Carpet Reup fam? Today, we're diving into a heated exchange between 50 Cent and Hurricane Chris that's got everyone talking. It all started with the Humor and Harmony Festival in Shreveport, and it escalated quickly. If you're into rap feuds and behind the scenes drama, this one's for you. Don't forget to hit that like button, share this video, and subscribe for all the latest updates in the music world. So here's what went down. Hurricane Chris, the rapper known for his hit, A Bay Bay, took to Instagram to blast 50 Cent for not booking any Louisiana artists at his Humor and Harmony Festival in Shreveport. Chris was fired up, accusing 50 of exploiting the city for its cheap costs and not putting any money into the pockets of Louisiana legends like Boozy Badass. He was especially upset that 50 reportedly spent half a million dollars on the local police instead of investing in the community. Pretty harsh words, right? How the fuck you supposed to be a nigga that's a part of hip hop? You throw a motherfucking concert in Louisiana and don't book no Louisiana legends and put no bankroll in no Louisiana legends pocket, but you pay the police a half a million dollars. What type of bitch ass shit is that? Nigga, you ain't fucking with my city, nigga. You taking advantage of my city, nigga, cause shit cheap and, and, and shit costs way less than it costs where you from. And y'all stupid, slow motherfuckers so crazy that y'all gonna let this nigga come down here and die, not show no love to Louisiana. This nigga ain't booked no Louisiana artist. This nigga ain't booked Big Papa. This nigga ain't booked B-Will. This nigga ain't booked Hurricane. That nigga didn't even go to Baton Rouge and get no, no boosies or nothing, no webbies. Like, nigga didn't fuck with us. Nigga came to take advantage of us. Shreveport had cheap ass land he came and bought that shit and a nigga don't give a fuck about fucking with us and he just showed you that by paying the police a half a million dollars when we got young niggas out here starving when we got young niggas out here killing each other that fucking money could have went to anything that helped the motherfucking youth we don't need more money invested into the police nigga we need more motherfucking money invested into the community we need motherfuckers who know the community who know the people who willing to put their motherfucking feet on the ground to make a difference with their influence fuck your money nigga we don't care nothing about it Nigga, you think these white people ain't been had no motherfucking money in Louisiana, nigga? They using you to come through this motherfucker and to pay the city up. Nigga, they finna use you to rebuild the roads. They not finna use you to help the youth, nigga. Louisiana give a fuck about jail. Now, if you know 50 Cent, you know he doesn't stay silent for long. He quickly clapped back, mocking Hurricane Chris's rap career and reminding everyone that he did, in fact, book two Louisiana natives for the festival, Master P and Fredo Bang. He even threw in some local Shreveport talent like Big Fella Zill and Flame Fari. 50 wasn't shy about calling Chris's music whack and questioning his relevance in the game. Ouch. But it didn't end there. Here, put that in for me. You know that shit gets no play in this ride. Hurricane Chris wasn't about to let 50's comments slide. He doubled down, calling 50 Cent a culture vulture who knows nothing about Shreveport. You, you big dummy, you just proved my point. You don't know shit about the city. Shreveport, the nigga just said I got one song. Nigga, I go all the way back to Five Entertainment. That's how I know you don't know shit about the city, homie. You just a culture vulture ass nigga that seen some shit for sale and you wanted to come profit. Now go ahead and go get some niggas something since I done got on your ass. Go ahead and go try to pound it to some niggas and put some niggas on or do something and help some niggas because you see I'm getting on your motherfucking ass. Go ahead and try to play chess like that. You ain't gonna outsmart me, nigga. I ain't none of these dumb ass fool ass niggas you ever dealt with, nigga. I got a whole catalog of shit. Me and Boosie got a mixtape. Nigga, I've been dropping music in Shreveport since 05. I've been touring in, in Louisiana and all these Texas areas since 05. Dumbass nigga don't know nothing about our culture. That's why I was going off on this nigga. Because I know this nigga don't give a fuck to do no research about us and our people. Shreveport, man, say, man. Stand up or fall for any motherfucking time. You got to stand up for something, man. Chris defended his own career pointing out that he's been making music and touring in Louisiana and Texas since 2005. He even accused 50 of just trying to profit off the city without understanding its culture. The back and forth was intense, with Fredo Bang even chiming in. Hurricane, if he ain't book no Louisiana artists, Louisiana legends, who the fuck I am then? Wondering who Chris thought he was if he didn't recognize the Louisiana talent on the bill. This feud between 50 Cent and Hurricane Chris shows just how personal things can get in the music industry. While 50 is expanding his empire into Shreveport, Chris feels like the city's culture is being overlooked. Who do you think has the stronger argument? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more exclusive content from the Red Carpet Reup.
Until next time, keep it locked right here for all your music industry news and drama. 